Hello sa inyo mga coders! Welcome sa akin channel. Ito ang next part ng ating JavaScript basic tutorial at it is all about comparisons in JavaScript. Alright, so let's get started. So, kailangan lang natin ng HTML file at ang source ng ating script is main.js at ito yung main.js natin. So, let me close this muna. At Unahin nyo natin yung greater than tsaka less than. Alam naman natin to eh. So, ang gawin lang natin alert tayo ng dalawang condition. So, if 10 is greater than 1, which is true. At yung less than, save natin, no? Tapos gamit tayo ng iran natin to. Locate nyo lang yung, uh, yung ating HTML5. At i-open nyo yan. Pero ako gagamit ako na aking live server. So, if you, if you do not have live server, click nyo lang yung mga extension sa... By the way, I'm using Visual Studio Code. And then, sa extension, search nyo lang yung live server. Ito yung live server ko by weekday. Okay. So, run natin. Open with live server. Alright, so yung una true, pangalawa, yung pangalawa is false, which is tama naman. You look at the second condition. So, ito lang yung basic ano, no? uh, comparison ng dalawang numbers. So, tama naman to. Ito false dahil hindi siya less than. So, tama naman yun. Ganun lang naman yung dalawa. Ito naman is yung, check na ito kung yung dalawang uh, values is true or is equal to each other. So, ganito lang naman yung paggamit nyan. So, uh, delete natin. Ayan. So, check nyo to is 10 is equal to 1. Check nyo yung equality. So, save natin yan. And false. Okay. So, let's mix Let's make this 10 para maging true. Okay. Okay, so, split ko muna yung ating uh, browser. I'm using uh, Google Chrome. Then, ito. Para naman mas maganda. Ayan. Okay. Okay, so, yung view natin, ah, uh, Adjust lang natin, no? Zoom out natin natin. Yan. Ito yun, no? Equality. Kinecheck nyo yung dalawa kung equal. Tapos, boolean yung result, okay? Ayun lang naman yung kailangan yung tandaan. Okay? And then, yung sa uh, exclamation point tsaka equal. Ito yung um, operator. Comparison operator, no? Na kinecheck nyo kung hindi sila equal sa isa't isa. So, yan. False. Kasi equal sila eh. So, para to make it true, uh, kailangan hindi lang sila equal. Ayun lang. So, ito, boolean pa rin yung uh, result. E, check nyo kung yung dalawang values is not equal. So, true naman. Hindi naman sila not. Hindi sila equal. So, next naman is yung greater than or equal to. So, Let's make it, um, change natin yung, ano, no, yung operator, no. So, uh, save natin, tapos automatically magrarun yung aking, uh, HTML with JavaScript. So, true. Dahil na greater than ito. Para naman kung 1 yan, equal sila. So, ito pa rin yan, kasi nga, nandito pa rin siya. Check nyo yung equal. Take note lang na, so, kapag greater than equal to, hindi dalawang sign, okay? So, okay lang kung isang equal sign lang yung kinakailangan, okay? So, kapag false yan, gawin lang natin tong false, gawin natin zero. So, it will be false dahil less than to sa so 1 at hindi sila equal, okay? So, dalawa yung chinecheck na to, greater than and equal. Ang next naman natin is yung less than. Opposite lang naman yan. 
So, true less than nga siya at hindi siya equal pero less than siya. So, true pa rin. So, kapag equal din, true pa rin. At kapag greater than to is false. Okay? So, yan lang naman. And then, itong tatlong to is strict type. So, um, pero gagawin ko muna is pa paano naman kung string naman yung compare natin. So, let's say meron tayong string ng Jesse or hello at ito hello dead. Ano kaya ang result? True. Equal sila. Hindi naman siya greater than. Usually, kapag ganyan, is yan. Equal yan, no? Check niya equality. Tapos, kapag ito ay uppercase, false na. So, take note nyo lang yun. Kapag string yung kinocompare natin, make sure na talagang equal sila sa isa. isa. Ito kasi, less up. Uh, lower case o tsaka ito ay upper case o so ganoon ganoon ang pag-compare ng uh, ng ng string kapag equality now kapag greater than let's say ito gawin natin tong a at ito z okay so pag sinip natin yan at nirun nyo false so bakit false yan dahil nga, ito kasi yung A let's say uh, di ba yung order ng A to Z is, sabihin na natin 1 to uh, something, di ba? So, ito nasa pinakauna to ito na, nasa pinakauhuli to make it true, gawin lang natin ganito, okay? So, yung Z ba is greater than A or yan yung order ng alphabetical order, okay? So, magiging true yan, Kapag less than naman, opposite lang ng greater than. So, magiging false to. Save natin. Yan, false. Okay? So, balik rin nyo lang yung dalawa para maging true. Okay? So, sa so, pag-equal naman, ayun nga yung order ng uh, ng ating alphabet. So, A to make it true. At kapag, uh, kung hari, uh, for example, ito about at yan, A is false yan. And then, ayan, so, ayan, true. Paano naman kung ganito? Alpha, tapos, yan, so, about false. To make it true, kailangan lang natin ng ganito, greater than. So, save uli natin, true. So, paano naging true yun? So, yung javascript, check nyo yung bawat letter ng ating comparison, no? So, itong string na to, tsaka string na to. Yung ulang letter ng string is A, capital A, capital A red, equal sila. So, uh, next naman is yung pangalawang letter. So, yung L, tsaka yung B. Kinompare nyo yun, mas malaki yung uh, order nung, ano, ng L. So, kumpara sa B, no? So, yung pang ilang place ba yung sa alphabet, di ba? So, yan. True, yan. Tandaan nyo lang yan, okay? So, kapag less than false, dahil nga mas malaki to. So, greater than. And then, kapag kapag not equal naman is ganun din magiging true to kasi hindi nga sila parehas kapag parehas yan false pa rin kapag hindi na so yan okay greater than or equal to ah uh, ganun pa rin let's say ito alpha greater than yan true okay true pa rin to kapag about then so yan capital A no so halos parehas kapag kapag smaller a to magiging false so uh, to make it true magiging less than okay kapag equal sila is true let okay ganun lang naman sa string now 
paano naman kung tatlong equal sign? So, alam natin na, for example, nag-declare tayo ng variable, which is tin tinuro ko sa inyo last, uh, sa last tutorial. Okay? So, hanapin nyo lang sa playlist. Nandiyan lang yan. So, for example, meron tayong first name. Or, or string on na lang. Okay? str one which is string of one okay so string yan pero okay alam na alam naman nating number yan so ito constant number one is equal to one which is same number ito string okay so kapag kinumpir natin tong dalawang to is str1 tatlong equal sign tsaka number one Okay, so save natin. Magiging false. Pero kapag yung equality, which is ito, magiging true. Okay, so ito naman yung um, behavior ng JavaScript. So kapag equal sign yung ginamit natin, or check natin yung equality ng dalawang values, which is ito, determine ng JavaScript na Uy, ito. Uh, siguro ang meaning mo dito is number na 1. So, yung JavaScript, kinumpare niya dito sa 1. So, yung str1, automatically, convert ng JavaScript into number. Okay? So, kaya naging true ito. Now, kapag tatlong, di ba, true to, di ba? Kapag tatlong equal sign, which is strict equality, it will be false. So, ano nangyari doon? So, yung una, ginawan, kinumpare niya yung dalawa gamit nito, which is true, ba? Alam ng JavaScript na ang meaning mo is number one. It can be converted to one. So, yung JavaScript, kinumpare niya sa one na number. So, naging 1 to, tapos naging 1. Okay? So, which is true. So, kapag ganito. Okay? Now, kapag yung pangatlong equal sign, ito, chinecheck nito yung data type. Equal rin ba sila ng data type? So, yung str1, which is string, at ito, at ito number. So, kapag tatlong equal sign, chinecheck nga rin kung equal ba sila ng data type. So, kapag strict equality, false yan. Okay? Very useful to kapag gusto mo nang uh, gusto mo nang i-check talag kung talagang number yan. Equal sila, tapos kung pareha sila ng number. Okay? Now, ang next naman is not equal parang ito yung kanina pero check nya rin yung data type okay so magiging true to kasi nga uh, kasi nga hindi sila equal ng data type okay so not equal true pati yung data type true okay paano natin gawing false yan gawin natin equal. Okay? So, yung number 1, which is 1, the number, at yung number 1, which is equal talaga sila, di ba? So, kapag tatlong strict, type, true. Kapag not equal, and not equal yung data type, false. Kasi nga, equal sila. Okay? Very tricky, pero uh, uh, ganun talaga yung behavior ng uh, JavaScript. So, ito, malimit lang naman to gamitin. So, ito, ginagamit to usually. Okay. Alright, so, tapos na tayo mag-compare ng dalawang string at dalawang numbers. At kinumpare natin yung string ng number at ang mismong number. So, ang next naman natin na i-discuss is yung comparison ng boolean. Alright? Alert pa rin yung gagamitin natin. 
erase natin yan true alam naman natin yung boolean di ba uh, true at false lang ang value niyan tinuro ko yan sa aking uh, previous uh, tutorial no hanapin nyo lang dyan sa playlist or mag yan sa screen nyo so yan true and true check natin yung equality nila no kung true yan true naman okay false so false pakita ko lang alright so sige natin okay now yung etong eto uh, greater than less than hindi masyadong ginagamit to sa boolean tsaka to eto madal minsan lang eto hindi, hindi na masyadong kailangan to actually so ang next na i-discuss ko yung ano uh, number tsaka yung boolean paano natin ko-compare yung number tsaka boolean so ang true equivalent yan sa number is 1 so save natin true so yung chinect nito is kung equal by yung true at 1 which is uh, true naman kasi ang 0 comment lang natin no? 0 is equal to equivalent nyan is false tapos yung 1 equivalent nyan is true okay tignan natin no? so para macheck rin nyo makita nyo okay so una yung true tapos false false dapat 0 to okay so da dapat dalawang parehas na true yan okay now, kapag strict type, syempre, hindi yan mag-true. Kasi, boolean to, ito number, okay? So, false yan parehas, okay? Alright, tapos na tayo sa coding. So, isang punto na lang is, yung comparison na to, napakahalaga nito kasi, sa next tutorial natin, i-discuss ko yung conditional statement na usually ginagamit ang comparison. Bago ka umalis, please like this video kung nagustuhan mo yung mga ganitong tutorial at subscribe ka na rin sa aking channel para updated ka sa mga latest at useful tutorial na gagawin ko. Salamat sa panonood. Pero bago ka umalis, huwag mo nang kalimutan yung like ang video na to at please subscribe sa aking channel. Like mo na rin yung Facebook ng Jesse PH. Salamat at see you on my next tutorial.